welcome to fourth part of uh, lecture number three of engineering drawing and graphics for engineer in this uh, third lecture we are discussing the basic geometrical construction that how some basic geometrical shapes of the plane geometry will be constructed in engineering drawing so in this uh, part number d uh, our fourth part of lecture number three we will solve the different problems of engineering drawing and graphic books 53rd edition by Andy Bird. So problem number 5.30 to inscribe a regular polygon of any number uh, of uh, any number of side. Okay. Suppose a circle is given or radius of a circle is given or diameter of a circle is given. Yeah, simply we can say that a circle will be given and we will have to inscribe a regular polygon in that given circle okay the regular polygon will be of any number for example uh, if the sides are five then we will have to construct the pentagon or six that it will be hexagon or seven it will be octagon okay so first with the center point o just draw the given circle remember the circle will be given now our requirement is that we have to construct yeah, we have to inscribe a regular polygon of any number of side now for example the number of side is 5 okay so just uh, the circle is given so draw a diameter of the given circle just draw the horizontal diameter of the given circle and divide that diameter into 5 equal part 1 2 3 4 and 5 okay see the number of parts in which you are dividing the diameter it will be equal to the number of sides of polygon now suppose we are constructing pentagon so divide this diameter into five sides. if you are uh, uh, inscribing the hexagon then divide this diameter into six parts okay now uh, just with center a and b and radius equal to a b now suppose that is the given diameter a b so with center a and radius equal to a b just draw an arc okay and with center b and radius equal to a b draw another arc suppose these two arcs intersect each other at this point p okay now giant point suppose this is point 0.1, point 0.2, point 0.3, point 0.4 and that is point 0.5 giant P with point 0.2 and extend it giant P with point 0.2 and extend it suppose that is point C now this AC will be the side of pentagon okay now starting point from point C open a compass at a distance equal to AC mark here a point that will be D now place compass here at D and mark here a point that will be E and then at E mark here a point that will be suppose point F okay now join these A with D uh, sorry C with D D with E E with F and F with A so that will be the required pentagon okay now to inscribe a square in a given circle see suppose the circle is given okay and we have to inscribe a square in that circle so just draw the horizontal diameter of this circle a b diameter and draw a perpendicular diameter into it okay c and d now join a with d d with b b with c and c with d that will be the required uh, square that will be the required inscribed square okay problem 5.35 to describe an equilateral triangle about a given circle okay suppose a circle is given and now we have to describe we have to construct outside an equilateral triangle okay so from center O just draw a perpendicular line okay with center O first the, the circle will be given then draw a vertical radius O A okay now with this line draw another line at 120 degree okay and at this side also draw another line at 120 degree 
okay now suppose this is point b and this is point c and that is point a so at a b and c draw the tangents okay just draw the tangent to the given circle at these three points okay at these three points draw the tangent and extend it okay so this d e and f that will be the required uh, we can say that, that will be the required equilateral triangle sorry the this is problem number which we have done that is problem number 3.6 okay and we have to describe we have to describe an equilateral triangle that how an equilateral triangle will be described about the uh, given circle okay now uh, question number uh, three uh, five point three five is to inscribe a regular octagon in a given circle okay see suppose a circle is given and we have to inscribe a regular octagon so first the circle is given draw the diameter suppose draw the diameter a b and c d okay just draw the diameter a a b and c d the two diameter perpendicular to each other okay draw the diameter e f and g h bisecting yeah just draw another diameter to bisect angle c o b and angle a o d okay suppose that is uh, h and g also draw another diameter to bisect the angle a o c and b o d suppose that is e and f okay now just draw the line joining d with f f with b b with h h with c c with e e with a a with g and g with d and that will be the required inscribe octagon okay and this we have discussed to describe an equilateral triangle about a given circle so see if the circle is given so just draw the vertical uh, radius and at 120 degree draw another radius and draw another radius now at these three points just draw the tangents line and extend it so the at points where they intersect each other that will be the required described equilateral triangle okay 5.37 to draw a square about a given circle now see suppose a circle is given and we have to draw a square about this circle okay so again simple just draw the horizontal diameter of this circle which is a b and draw the vertical diameter of this circle suppose which is c d okay now at a b c and d draw the uh, we can say draw the tangents okay draw the tangent see just draw a tangent or draw a horizontal line at c and d and at a and b draw the vertical line okay so this required e uh, f g and h that will be the required square about a given circle okay now to describe a regular hexagon about a given circle again circle is given and we have to describe a regular hexagon okay so again it is just simple just draw a, a horizontal diameter which is ab okay horizontal diameter and see suppose that is the center point so at 60 degree draw another diameter and from this side at 60 degree draw another diameter okay now draw the tangents at these points this tangent extend it draw tangent at this point extend it draw the tangent at this point and extend it draw the tangent at this point okay mean at each and every points just draw the tangents so now here you can see that suppose starting from this point one side two three uh sorry three four five and six that is the required uh hexagon about a given circle 
to describe a regular octagon about a given circle c circle is given and we have to describe a regular octagon so just draw the horizontal diameter and draw the vertical diameter okay now draw the diameter bisecting this angle and draw another diameter bisecting this angle okay now at each point just draw the uh, we can say that uh, the tangents okay so once you draw the tangent at all of these point so you will get the required octagon about the given circle okay similarly to draw a tangent to a given circle at any point on it see for example if a circle is given okay and suppose this is the point suppose this is the circle having center o and this is the circle at which at this point we have to draw a tangent which we have used in the previous problem now this is a specific method that how you will draw a tangent line to a circle at a given point on the circumference so the circle is given with center o and the p point is given just join o with p and extend it how much so that op is equal to pq join o with p and extend it up to q where op will be equal to oq okay now draw the perpendicular bisector of this oq just draw the mean take the bisector so the bisector will be exactly lies on this point and which will be tangent to the given circle passing from the given point p to draw a tangent to a given circle from any point outside it now see suppose a circle is given with center o and here a point is given p now we have to draw a line which will pass from this point in which will be tangent to the given circle okay so the circle is given and the point is given the requirement is that we have to draw a line which will be tangent to the circle and passing from point p so the step is just join o with p okay join o with p and uh with o p is diameter yeah just take the mid point just take the midpoint of op and with center this suppose q with center this q and radius equal to oq just draw an arc suppose it intersect the given circle at point r and r1 okay now join p with r join p with r so that will be the required line which is tangent to the given circle and passing from the given point okay also you can join p with r1 this is also the uh, line which is tangent to the given circle and passing from the given point to draw a circle uh, passing through a given point and tangent to a given line at a given point on it to draw a circle see now we have to draw a circle see the line is given suppose this is a b line is given and there is a point on this line suppose that is point q and one point is outside given suppose that is point p okay one point is given and a line is given in which a point is given now we have to draw a circle we have to draw a circle such that which will pass from this q point and p point draw a circle passing through a given point and tangent to a given line at a given point I mean here we have to draw a circle so that the circle may pass from this p point and the circle will be tangent to a b line at this q point that is the question okay so uh, draw a line join p q just join p with q okay and draw a perpendicular bisector of pq just draw the perpendicular bisector of this pq line that will be the perpendicular bisector okay 
and see at this point draw perpendicular to ab mean draw a line from this q which will be perpendicular to ab so see the line which we have drawn perpendicular to ab at q intersect the bisector line at o now with center o with center o and radius equal to op or with radius equal to oq just draw the given circle uh, draw the required circle this will be the center o will be the center and radius will be equal to op okay repeat just see the line is given and one point on the line is given okay suppose ab line is given and q point is given on the line one point is outside given suppose that is point p we have to draw a circle which will pass from p point and will be tangent to ab at point q okay so just join p with q draw the perpendicular bisector of this pq line and draw a perpendicular to ab at q mean draw a perpendicular to ab line from this point suppose that is o now that will be the center this will be the center and radius will be equal to op draw a circle so that will be the required circle which will pass from p point and will be tangent to ab at point q now to draw a circle to touch a given circle in a given line at a given point on it see one circle is given and a line is given now here we have to draw a circle which will touch this circle and which will touch this point p point on this ab line okay we have to draw a circle which will touch the p point on ab line and which will touch the given circle okay so uh, first step is that uh, a circle with center c is given and line ab is given with point p now with from c just draw a perpendicular line to ab okay from c just draw a perpendicular line to ab and extend it so it will intersect the circle at two points f and e okay now draw a line which will join f with p join f with p and it will intersect the circle at point g okay now at p draw a perpendicular line at p draw a perpendicular line to ab okay intersecting uh, the line through c now c uh, extend ya yeah, join c with g and extend it c with g and extend it so this perpendicular will intersect the uh, this line at point o okay now with center o and radius equal to op draw a circle now that is the required circle which is intersecting uh, sorry which is touching the given circle and the given line at point p okay also we can draw another circle which which can also satisfy the given condition like see uh, for example if we join e with p and extend it suppose it intersect this at g g dash now join g with c and extend it and extend this perpendicular now this will be the center o dash suppose now from this o dash if you draw a circle it will look like this one now again it is touching the given circle and the given line okay see so this was all about the geometrical construction so some basics uh, problems are discussed in this lecture number three that how basically you will uh, uh, construct the different plane geometrical shapes okay so i will advise that repeat these four parts of lecture number three to betterly understand the basic concept of the uh, basic plane geometrical construction thank you